Hey guys, welcome back to the Make Money Coaching Sports Show. My name is Leo. I'm the assistant manager here at the company. So welcome back to this second part of a four-part series. And today I want to cover how to identify your perfect client when you're starting a soccer business here in the UK. So for those that have just tuned into this, this channel or are watch, watching this video for the first time, I, what I want you to do is go back to our first episode where I talk about the first most important bit about starting your soccer business from scratch here in the UK. So once you've watched that video, come back and watch this one because what I'm going to talk to you about today is going to make a lot more sense. So when I started my, my football academy here in the UK, there was uh, three things that I looked at when I wanted to identify my perfect client to train. So your perfect client will be important that you know who they are so that when you get on a sales call, you'll be able to filter out those types of parents, those types of players that you don't want to work with. I remember when I first started my business, I was at a stage where I was just accepting anyone into, the, into my program. Now, that's okay at the beginning because you want, you want a, attraction, you want attention, you want people to start to know who you are. But as you start to scale, you can only really scale if you're working with your perfect client, right? If you're working with a specific type of client that then will help you to get more of your those perfect clients. So three things I looked at when, when I first started. And the first one was the age of the players I wanted to work with. So for me personally, I like working with players from the ages between 9 and 12 years old. So every time a parent would contact us or send me a text message, send me an email or call me up, first thing I would ask is how old is your child? Once I knew how old that child was, that ticked the first box on my perfect client uh, sheet, which was, okay, right, this parent has a child that is nine years old or they're 10 years old which means, okay, that's the type of player I want to work with, or that's the type of player I'm comfortable working with. Okay, so that was the, the, the first bit. Now, the second thing I looked for is what are their ability levels? Now, in my academy, I don't work with, shall we say, elite players or players that want to push to become professionals. I like working with, with players that are maybe beginners, or intermediate, they're in the middle. They're, so they they might have a little bit of experience, but they're looking for someone to to get them to that next level. And once they're at that next level, then what we do is we help them to maybe find a new program, or we help them in the recruitment to get recruited by a, a bigger club or a bigger academy. So the first two things I looked for was what what is the age? So what's my the perfect age for my client? And what is the ability level? So if a, if a parent calls me up and says, right, yeah, my child has X amount of experience playing at the club level uh, and they're looking for to, to get scouted or they're looking to play for a bigger club then automatically that client doesn't tick my, my perfect client box because I want to work with players who are maybe just starting up so they're beginners or they're in the middle so they have some experience but they want to get better and they want to develop. Okay, At the beginning I was working with some players who were, shall we say, advanced but what tends to happen I found with advanced players is they're constantly looking for different programs. They'll be with you maybe for three months. Then after three months, they're looking for something else. 
okay because they want to get to that le next level they're that that hungry type of 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 players now players in the middle they they want that as well but they they're looking for more development and just a really fun and and exciting environment to be in and if you can provide that for them then your client retention rate will be a lot higher okay so that's the second thing you want to look for now the third thing you want to look for is where do your client your perfect clients live right how how much do they have to commute how long do they have to commute to get to you is it 10 minutes is it 20 minutes is it half an hour is it an hour is it an hour and a half right so what is the average distance that your perfect client needs to commute to get to you and something we're going to touch on in, in in upcoming videos is once you have a consistent location or training facility that you're using right how do they how do that then we filter out clients that maybe are traveling too far and you know that if they're traveling too far they won't be able to commit on a weekly basis into your your program okay so three things you want to look for when you're trying to to create your your perfect client and when you're trying to filter out clients that might not not tick your boxes are number one what is the age of your perfect client so which clients do you feel the most comfortable working with number two is ability level right who do you want to work with do you want to work with beginners do you want to work with intermediate type of players or do you want to work with players that are advanced and looking to get to that 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 pro level or that pro contract okay and then the third is how long is the commute your client is going to make to get to you right does the parent drive or does the parent have to get onto public transport to get to you okay because if the parent doesn't drive then you have to consider the distance that they are they have to travel to get to your session or if you have an agreement are you traveling to that client okay some coaches we work with they go to their their clients house or they go to a an a facility that's close to where their clients are okay so those are the three main things that you want to identify so that you can tick the boxes and you can create your perfect client uh, profile so in the next video you're going to learn the third step in building your soccer business from scratch here in the uk so stay tuned to the upcoming video